Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody else let go? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to another video with your girl, Siobhan. I have been under the weather, sick, stomach, upset, back and forth to the bathroom, not feeling good, super weak, super weak and just unable to tidy up and clean up the house and things like that, which I really normally would do. Um, so now that I'm feeling a little bit better, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I just wanna tidy up downstairs. I also wanna do my makeup area upstairs, get that together and possibly clean the bathroom and maybe a few other things if I have the energy. I don't wanna overdo it, but I do wanna do as much as I can. So what I'm gonna start with right now, because I'm making the twins a little bit of lunch, I am going to tidy up the kitchen while I'm down here and then we're going to kind of move throughout the house the kids were off for two days in a row due to cold weather, snow, and all of that. So they're off today. So they're home if you're wondering, but um, they just went outside and played in the snow and then they took a shower. So yeah, they're having them a good time, but I'm going to tidy up while I'm feeling a little okay. And then I'm going to also, I think I'm going to prep dinner too. So let's get to it. Here we go. Don't go out nearly as much as I should. Barely know the way around my neighborhood. I'm ruminating. I feel no good. I am drinking coffee. I put some protein, one of my premier protein, um, half of a drink in here. And then I'll probably make another cup of coffee or something like that. No caffeine. And then I'll add the other premier protein in it. I use some Truvia which is zero calorie. And I use a little bit of the caramel um, drizzle, like caramel drink that you put in here. And I believe that is zero calorie as well. So if you're wondering what I'm drinking, that's what I'm drinking, my protein coffee. I'm gonna make me something to eat in a moment. I'm just trying to figure out what I wanna eat. Thinking about eggs or something like that. We'll see, I'm not sure. but. I'm going to start with emptying out the dishwasher so that I can load the dishwasher, wipe off the counters, all of that, and just get this kitchen together. Again, I think I'm going to start dinner. If I can, I'm about to look and see what I have, but I do want to make something fairly simple, but I might put something in the crock pot, so we'll see. I got Beautiful people, I was not feeling good for the past couple days. And when I tell you that I have been out of commission, I've been out of commission, definitely. I couldn't even motivate myself to get up and do anything. I was so weak. I was so, I just didn't feel good. My stomach was super upset. I don't know. I don't want to say it was something that I ate because I always eat pretty much what the kids eat. Every now and then I might, you know. I'll eat stuff that they don't eat, but it's not a lot or anything like that. So I just couldn't figure out what was going on and why my stomach was just so upset and why I didn't feel good. But anyway, I feel so much better. Yesterday, I actually slept. Well, my mom came over for a couple days this past weekend and I could not even like I would get out of the bed, go to the bathroom, get back in the bed. You know, go downstairs, make the uh, kids something to eat really quickly, get back in bed. Like, there was not much that I could really do. And I felt so bad because I love to do stuff when my mom is here. But anyway, I am feeling better. Yesterday, I slept for... I went to bed about 11 at night. And I didn't wake up until 11.30 the next day. Now, I did wake up here and there, but I really didn't get up. Like, I wasn't on my phone. I didn't turn on the TV or anything. I might have woke up, rolled over, and so forth. But I literally slept for a very long time, which is rare. I know I woke up, but I just didn't get up. But I needed that because my body was just 
exhausted. It was exhausted. It was trying to heal, trying to recoup. So I went to the gym today. It felt so good. It felt so good. I was able to complete my workout. I actually knew that I wasn't feeling good last week when I went to one of the Zumba classes and I had to stop in the middle of the class. I left the class. I've never done that. I've never left any class in the middle of the class. I did go and get on the treadmill and I walked for like another 30 minutes on the treadmill, but I just took my time walking so that I can get my steps in, but I didn't feel good. And that was like the start of me really going downhill and not feeling good. Anyway, your girl feels better. So of course, when mom is sick and out of commission, the house tends to get a little bit out of control. It wasn't too bad, guys. It really wasn't too bad. I'm just tidying up the kitchen and the dining room. I did also vacuum the living room and the entryway hallway. I didn't even record that for you. I am going to organize some of my makeup, perfumes, and a little bit of my bedroom. And then another video is going to be coming where I'm going to be because I've been going through my video my bedroom, I should say, cleaning it and purging and getting rid of some stuff in here so that I can organize it a little bit better. But yeah, so I did get some stuff done. I felt pretty good about it, but I wasn't able to like give my full self. Usually I'm more energetic. I have, you know, I can keep it moving. I can cling for hours. I just could not do that. Could not do that. But the good thing is that I am here. I am alive. I am thankful that y'all decided to spend a little bit of time with your girl. Thank you very much. And I'm feeling better. So let's continue the video. And again, I appreciate you all. Someone must have broken my heart, like really torn it apart in another life, in another life. Someone must have really me up, like caused my heart to stop in another life. In another life, otherwise, I don't know why I keep calm. So I really like to have a clean kitchen, guys. It's one of my things that I just value. I value having a clean kitchen. I don't want to go in there and clean if it's, or I don't want to go in there and cook if it's not clean. I really don't even want to be in there. That's just like the bathroom. The major parts of your house that you're constantly in, even though I do put my bedroom on the back burner, but I enjoy having a clean house and a clean kitchen is like top clean bathroom is top. So I know that y'all see me clean in the kitchen a lot. And that's because I'm in it a lot. I'm always in it. I'm always doing something. I'm either making dinner, about to make dinner or breakfast or lunch or give the kids some type of snack or whatever the case may be. Make me some coffee, which I'm about to go do in a minute. And um, yeah, so I'm always in it. So I'm starting with the kitchen and then I move into the dining room. The next thing I need to do is get this island together. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what project you want to see me complete in this house. I really want to know. And I will like if it's a DIY. Now, now the floors, I can't do the floors. I really want a professional to do the floors. I want a, a what is it called, guys? I forget. A luxury vinyl plank floor put down. But I had, y'all saw that. I had someone come out. I had two people come out and give me quotes and they have to put like an underlayment floor. I think that's what it's called. Some type of underlayment treatment before they put the floors down and so forth because I have pine floors. Um, but I really want a professional to do that. But leave me a comment down below and let me know what project you would like to see me complete in this house. I really want to know. I'm very, very curious. I am almost done with the kitchen. I am just cleaning off the counters. I always wipe off these eight cube organizers that I got from Ikea, which I love because they hold a lot of storage. And believe it or not, I want to say about 40% of them are empty because I went through and did a purge. So about 40% of them are empty. And 
I'm not even mad about that. <laughs> I'm not even mad about that. I am going to sweep the floors and then we're going to move into the dining room. Lately, I've been in a mental funk, and there's no specific reason I don't believe that I can think of, um, but I have been in a mental funk. I feel like there's so much that I want to accomplish, and there's so little time, and I'm obsessing over it, which is wasting time instead of getting it done, if that makes sense. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, I want to do X, Y, and Z. How can I do X, Y, and Z? Well, you can do it this way, this way, and this way. Well, no, well, maybe if I do it this way. It's like, get it together, Siobhan, come on. But I have been in a mental funk. I have not been the happiest, you know, person. I'm not going to say, I mean, the kids still see mommy as bubbly and we're still dancing and singing and having a good time. And of course, you know, I love yous and how was school and all of that good stuff. But I feel like I've just been in a rut. And I, even though the year just started, I feel like I should be further ahead in this year but I'm, I'm going to give myself grace. I am going to give myself grace because I do a lot. I do a lot. And I know that if I set my mind to something and I do what needs to be done, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And I can, I can, I can do what needs to be done. I know I can. It's just getting out of my own way. I need to get out of my own way so that I can get it done. I also need to give myself some grace when it comes to my weight. I have lost a nice amount of weight and everybody is different. You know, everybody who has the bariatric surgery, they lose, depending on their body type and their history and all of that, you lose what you lose. I have lost 100 pounds. That is amazing. And even though I still want to lose another 25 pounds, it has been hard. And that's my fault too, because I could eat better, which I'm trying to do and so forth. But it has been hard. It has been difficult. But I have been very good at keeping this weight off. So I, I give myself, you know, I pat myself on the back for that. But I have been disappointed that it hasn't just come off much easier. It's been two years. I mean, you know, of course, people gain their weight back. I'm doing pretty good. I need to just give myself some grace. So here I am making this uh, recipe, guys. This is my own kind of little concoction. I had some chicken tenders that I took out that I needed to cook, and I am just adding some seasonings to it, this complete seasoning. I also added some onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, some herbs and pepper, and then I added in some chicken seasoning, and then of course like uh, pepper. I didn't add any salt, but just pepper. So I'm also going to add a full bottle of zesty Italian dressing. Yes, I did. It tasted delicious though, guys. The kids went back for seconds, okay? Let me tell you, my kids went back for seconds. That's how I know they enjoyed it. If they didn't like it, they would barely eat it and they would throw it away and they wouldn't have anything to say. They enjoyed it. Now, I didn't have the noodles. I wanted to have the penne pasta noodles, but I didn't have that. So I ended up using... Um, I used what type of noodles? I used a different type of noodle. I forget the name of it now, but I would have preferred the penne pasta noodles, but I didn't have them. I also added a block of cream cheese in there and it was, it, it was good. Okay. Let me tell you, it was good. The chicken, the meat was seasoned perfectly. Okay. Oh, and I also added Parmesan cheese. That is what I forgot to get from the store. I need to get some more Parmesan cheese and stuff, but I'll get that. I need to make a list because that's when I do the best shopping is when I make a list. So I'll get that. <laughs> I just went to the store again today. So again, the twins were off on Monday for Martin Luther King Day. They were also off Tuesday and Wednesday for snow and um, frigid temperatures in our area. They went back to school today for the first time. So yes, they were not happy, but hey, you got to go to school. Now, tomorrow, we got to notice saying they may be off tomorrow, but if they're off tomorrow, they're going to do a virtual learning day. If that's the case, I'm, I'm going to still try to go to the gym tomorrow because I have a meeting with a trainer. But if I can't go to the gym tomorrow and meet with the trainer, I'll just reschedule. But I'm still going to get my workout done here 
and I work out for at least an hour. No more half hours or 45 minutes. I work out normally for at least an hour. I did have the twins take all of their shoes and stuff upstairs as well as clean out their book bags. Now y'all know kids book bags tend, tend to collect a little bit of everything in there, a little bit of everything. So I periodically like to go through and have them clean out their book bags so that, you know, we can just get it back in order just in case, you know, I'm missing something, some paperwork or whatever. So I did have the twins clean out both of their book bags yesterday and now they're nice and clean. I do want to wash them. I'll probably wash them this weekend. I've really been trying to stay on top of the kids with, and I feel like it's nagging, but it isn't because with kids, you have to say stuff over and over and over times 50 million hundred times ever. Okay. All of my kids. And, oh, that's what I will say too. I'll tell you this momentarily, but I've been staying on the kids with getting their chores done, getting things done cleaning the litter, taking the dog out, getting the dog washed, um, making sure that things are picked up. And yeah, I do go and clean up and all of that, but you only see these videos a couple times a week. I've been really diligent about staying on the kids, okay? So my house may be a little messy at times, but it's never too bad. I'm learning that it's never too bad, which I like. So I'm very happy about that. This is what I will say. Having six kids has been challenging at times now my kids are good kids I think I think kids in general I think are good to be honest with you some kids have it harder than others some parents have it harder than others and life can life sometimes for real but sometimes it is so hard with six different personalities they all need you my oldest daughter went through a breakup she is still dealing with that okay still dealing with that Ayana and um, the vet school not being able to continue at the vet school super disappointed with that it's a long story long story and then we have little chris who is 17 about to be 18 this year he's trying to decide what he wants to do if he wants to go to college or if he wants to go to a trade school or whatever his friend just got his license his friend got a car a month after he got his car him and little chris was in a car accident yes Little Chris's airbag in the car deployed. And so that was the whole thing. He was fine, thank goodness, but still scary. You know, like um, his friend picked him up. They were going to a bowling party, which they went to. And then after the bowling party, they were driving to go get something to eat. And somebody cut them off. And the friend veered off, kind of. So he didn't actually hit nobody, but he veered off. And he hit something on the side of the road, like no, no car. But yeah, the airbag deployed. And then we have London, who she talks about being homeschooled all the time. And I'm like, London, I'm not homeschooling you, baby. I think it's a good thing for you to go to school. So we have London and her personality, her Wednesday Adams personality. We have Kinsley, who is one of the most popular kids in her grade. All the teachers tell me this. She is super popular. All the kids want to play with her. You know, she she gets into arguments because of some of the girls who don't like her. And she don't like some of the girls. I'm not saying, you know, she don't like some of the girls. And just she is so outspoken and very um, she speaks her mind all the time. She always has. And she's just very outgoing. She is so intelligent. She gets straight A's. And then we have Cade, who is super, super, super sweet and quiet. And but Cade, you gotta you gotta watch Cade, cause yeah, Cade will get you. Cade will get you. But yeah, so Cade is just very laid back and very easygoing. But yeah, I like there are six different personalities that I have to deal with all the time. And sometimes I don't even want to deal with it. I just want to be left alone in my room. So beautiful people, the dining room is clean. Yep, nice and clean. That's the cat's um, scratching post thing over there, if you're wondering. And then the kitchen is clean as well. 
kitchen is clean. I didn't mop, that's the only thing that I didn't do in here, but other than that, the kitchen is clean. The crock pot is gone. I'll be back down in a couple hours to finish that meal, show y'all what I'm doing with that. But yeah, kitchen is clean. Now I wanna go upstairs and work on my little makeup area and my office area. Beautiful people, this is my little beauty desk area that I need to get together. Usually Kensley will come up here and play in my makeup and stuff. Now that she has her own, she hasn't been doing it lately, but it's definitely time to get this together. The first thing I want to do is remove everything off of the desk. You don't care what you're doing to me. I've been down in the ruins so deep. All the games they play, all the love you've forsaken, you let it slip away. Oh, 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 oh. you don't care what to do. So what I want to do in my bedroom is have specific areas for everything. I want everything to have a place and a place for everything. Okay. So of course I have my office area. I want to have my makeup station, which this is going to be. And then I want to have my space where I get dressed and Leah, like everything has a place. Everything have a place. So over here in this area, I'm going to have all of my perfumes and all of my makeup. It's like my get ready area over here. And then on the other area, I'm going to have like my jewelry, my lotions, deodorants, and um, medicines and things like that that I take on a daily basis. That's going to be in another area. So beautiful people, I bought this Pro Beauty Organizer from, I think it was Marsh, TJ Maxx for $39.99. So I do want to put this up. What you do, how you act, so I can't just take you back. I don't have y'all know what this house is an older house it's 100 years old and I did buy the closets from Ikea I don't have a lot of storage so I'm in the process of well I was in the process when I purchased the home of creating storage I think I did a very good job with that I bought the twins a closet Yana a closet uh, who else London and Chris both have closets and then up here I have my closets and I bought a linen closet not a linen closet but a closet for downstairs for the coats which has been working out pretty well so here, I just like things to have a place where I can, I know where everything is. Usually, usually, I'm not perfect, guys, but for the most part, if something has a place, I will put it back where it belongs. Now, when the twins come up here and, excuse me, and they play in my, in my mess, I will say, or in my stuff, I ain't gonna say mess. Cade, this is before Christmas, but for a long time, Cade would come up here and be in my office area and Kinsley would be in my makeup area and even though in my in my heart of hearts I knew I shouldn't have let them because Kinsley used and messed up a ton of my makeup and Cade had my office area looking like 18 tornadoes came through it okay I didn't even show y'all I did not even show you how it looked it was a disaster okay but that kept them busy, guys. And sometimes I need things to keep them busy. So anyway, now that they have their own little areas, which they love, they are at those vanities day in and day out, day in and day out. So now I'm very adamant. You can't come up here and use my stuff. You can't come in here and mess with my area. You cannot. You have your own stuff. You have your own area. That's where you need to go. When you make a mess, you clean up your stuff. And it was very hard for me to do that. It really was. But anyway, so now I, I'm getting all of this together. It's going to be nice and organized just the way I like it. And I believe I can keep it organized the way it is. So I'm happy about that. You're going to see it momentarily. It looks so good. It looks so good to me anyway. I thought about putting some shelves over here. You'll see um, where I keep like my lotions and um, deodorant and all of that stuff. And I may still do that because that'll give me some vertical storage, which is nice. I think I'm going to do that. When I go to Home Depot to get the wood for the linen closet, I think I'm going to get some wood for the shelves over here. Hey. Yeah. 
Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting this forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay, hey, yeah, ain't no errors, baby. It's a new era. I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha. I get to the paper, boy. Extra, extra. Work with me, you know that I got it. Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands. We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it. Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it. Boom. The good thing about decluttering and going through your stuff, you see what you have, what you don't have, and what you don't need, and what you can get rid of. So, some of my makeup was old, dried up, and all of that, so I got rid of it. Some makeup was all used up. It was empties, so of course, got rid of that. Some things I don't use anymore, and then you play around with it. So, here I am putting some of my um, sprays, my mist that I have that I got from Victoria's Secret, and I'm like, eh, I don't really like that. Let me move this around. I don't want to have perfume over here and perfume over there. I want it all to be together. So you're going to see me do some trial and error to figure out how I want to get everything set up. I also bought me some of this Dossier perfume for Christmas. It was not sponsored. I went on to their website and bought it with my own money. And yeah, <laughs> so it wasn't sponsored or anything like that. I just love to smell good, guys. I love to smell good. I will, y'all know, I've said it before, I love washing up, I love smelling good, I love lotions and perfumes and different soaps and body butters and all of that, all of that good stuff. And I know I can make my own, which I have been doing, but I also like other companies stuff as well, why not? So I'm sure that Fendi doesn't just wear only Fendi stuff, okay? And I'm sure, well, I was, I was going to say Tory Burch. I, I was going to say Kate Spade, but I'm sure like Tory Burch doesn't only wear T Tory Burch. Like, you know, <laughs> she's only going to put that on and so forth. So you can have other perfumes and body butters and sprays and stuff and support other companies and so forth. Just because you have your own brand or your own products, you can still do that. So I'm getting all of this together and you're going to see it momentarily. Shoot a whole clip Firepower in this coalition We just turned the field into a demolition It was desolate, but I had premonition I was training for war every exhibition Every extra mission, every enemy listening Get off my dick, I got bad intentions Make it right every wrong and I'm back with a So far, I have about four or five large bags of giveaway for the VA I usually do a VA pickup once or twice a month and I have some stuff outside ready for them to pick up. And I'm just going to keep going. I do want to go through my closets again because I've gotten some new stuff. So when I bring new stuff in, some stuff has to go out. And there is stuff that I have in my closets that I like, but that I know for a fact that I'm not going to wear. There is stuff that I can no longer wear or that I'm just not interested in wearing anymore that somebody else can use. So I do want to go through my closets very quickly. That is coming up as well. But and London has been going through her little closets and everything. She's giving away stuff and Joanna gave me some stuff to give away too. So we have a good amount of stuff that we're giving away, which is nice. I have about five pictures or um, wall art canvases that I'm giving away. Nothing wrong with them. Completely nice. Just not my style anymore that I'm giving away. I found some kitchen stuff that I'm giving away in my old house in the entryway. When I had that wallpaper on the rental house and everything, I have a box of stuff that I had in that entryway that I'm giving away. But yeah, so there is some stuff that is definitely given, being given away, which is nice because it'll go to someone who needs it and who can use it. So anyway, I'm just going through some of the stuff that I had and you showing y'all what I have and what I'm keeping, what I'm not keeping. I did go through some of my perfumes and I'm giving them away because... I've had some of these perfumes for a while and I know what I gravitate towards. And if I'm not using it, I just, it's time to let it go. Give it away. Sometimes the kids will take it and other times it's like, hey, if you want it, you want it. If you don't, it's, I just, I don't want it anymore. I'm tired of keeping stuff that has no purpose. I show you the ropes. Peace in my town, I can show you the coast. Yeah. Up in the shots if they wanted to smoke. Yeah. Yeah. If you know, then you know. Hey. Suit it up, my whole team do the same. Don't you forget who created the game. Ready for war, I was born with grenades. The trenches with soldiers are made. Okay. Let's see how you do under pressure. 
pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give him a name to remember. Okay, okay. Hey, let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. Okay, okay. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give him a name to remember. Okay, okay. So I took a break from doing that and I had set a timer so that I can go downstairs and make my noodles and add the noodles in, which I did. I think these are fettuccine noodles. I think that's what it is, guys. Fettuccine noodles. I added those in with some Parmesan cheese and then I added a little bit more seasoning, of course, because... I tasted it and it needed some more seasoning and yeah it was delicious oh my gosh it was delicious now i did run to the store today you'll see that video very very soon but i ran to the store today and i got some garlic bread so i'm going to go and put that in the oven for the kids and i'm going to heat this up for them again for today and give them some garlic bread to go with it Baby, take your time. Let me know. So it was almost like a chicken alfredo but not because but it was a little bit spicier because i used that italian dressing again it was good and we enjoyed it and the kids loved it so here since i added those perfumes over here i am rehanging up my mirror and i made it a little bit higher and i did use some of the painter's tape so that i can get the right measurements and hang it up the way i want it to and i was able to hang it up with no problem at all nice and sturdy and then we're going to get it hung back up on the wall and then the room is basically almost done i'm going to move over to the other side to get the lotions and and medicine area and all of that taken care of and then like i said the room video will be coming up very soon so y'all can see that but i feel like i've added a ton of storage in this house and everything should have a place and that is what i'm in the purpose that is what i am doing right now i want everything to have a place i don't want anything to be out of place it's going to make cleaning so much easier and it's going to make the house look much more cleaner because there's not a lot of clutter everywhere
So of course over here in this area, like I said, I've had my lotions and soaps and what else, medicines and all that good stuff. My whole body deodorants from Lumi and all of that. And so this needed to be wiped off a little bit. I got this jewelry organizer or jewelry stand thing from, I believe, Home Goods a couple months ago. It was like $16. Never used it, guys. Never used it. But what I did is I put my bracelets, my necklaces. I have my rings on one side. I have earrings on the other side. And this is not all my jewelry because I do have another, I think I have like another two drawers of jewelry. But these are the things that I gravitate towards the most. I am going to go through my jewelry and decide what I want to keep and what I don't. Because again, if I'm not going to use it, somebody else can use it. I used to have a ton of real jewelry, real gold, real gold. And I could not remember for the life of me what I did with it. And I was like, I sat down and I thought for a while. And I remember, I remember that we fell on hard times. And I remember going to, y'all remember like the gold gold stores where you can go and sell your gold for money. That is what I did. I remember I went and sold all of my gold jewelry, my necklaces, my bracelets, my earrings, so that we can get money to pay whatever bill it was for. It took me a minute because my son, he was like, mom, what happened to all of your, your gold? You used to have so much, you used to wear it all the time. And I'm like, I don't know. I can't remember. I had totally blocked it out, I guess. But that is what I did. I sold it. I sold it. So now I'm in the process I'm not going to say in the process, but it's one of the things that I want to invest in is real gold, real jewelry. I have a ton of cosmetic, you know, jewelry, but I really want real jewelry, real gold. And I can't wear fake necklaces around my neck. It has to be real gold because I break out the most around my neck. It has to. So that's what I that's why I purchased a couple um, gold necklaces. Now, some of them are fake, but like in the summertime, I can't wear fake jewelry around my neck because I will break out so bad. beautiful people thank y'all so so much for watching thank you for spending a little bit of time with me i really appreciate it please take a moment to like comment and subscribe leave me a lips emoji down below if you've made it this far and i am really striving to make or hit 150,000 subscribers this year so if you can again like comment and share i would appreciate it i love y'all to the moon and back and i will see y'all in the next video Bye. Mwah.
Your aura passed me by 